German lawmakers want to shoot down Russian missiles over Ukraine. German lawmakers from both the ruling coalition and the opposition support the idea of NATO imposing a no-fly zone over western Ukraine amid the conflict with Russia, Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung has reported. For its article, the paper asked members of parliament about the proposal, earlier floated by the defense minister's chief of staff, Nico Lang, who suggested that Russian missiles and drones targeting Ukrainian energy infrastructure and military installations could be shot down from the territory of neighboring Poland and Romania. According to Lang, this would lead to the creation of a 70-kilometer-wide safe zone on the border between the EU and Ukraine, while also allowing Kiev to redeploy its own air defense systems, which are in short supply from the west of the country to the front line. Defending the airspace over Ukraine from Poland and Romania should not be ruled out in the long term. Anton Hofrita, a member of parliament for the Green Party, which is part of the German coalition, told Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung. However, such a move is not up for debate at the moment, as the current priority for the West is to supply Ukraine with significantly more arms and ammunition, he stressed. Markus Faber from the Free Democratic Party, also in the ruling coalition, agreed that the airspace over the Ukrainian border regions could be protected by air defenses on NATO territory. According to Faber, this would only be possible if the West can secure enough ammunition for the air defense systems. A lawmaker for the opposition Christian Democratic Union, Roderich Kaiswetter, also said Kiev's Western backers could shoot down Russian drones over Western Ukraine. This would relieve the Ukrainian air defense and enable it to protect the front, he explained. Kaiswetter recalled how the US, UK and France assisted Israel with countering a large-scale bombardment by Iran in April, saying it showed that countries can provide such help to their allies without actually becoming a party to the conflict. Russia loses over 1,300 soldiers, 55 artillery systems in a day. Russia lost 1,320 soldiers in the Ukraine front on May the 10th to the 11th, bringing its combat losses to 481,030. Since Ukraine's full-fledged invasion in February 2022, general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces reported. In a statement published on its official Facebook page, the general staff also revealed Russia's losses in terms of military equipment. Thus, Russia lost 15 tanks, 40 armored combat vehicles, 55 artillery systems, two multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS, one air defense system, 42 operational and tactical UAVs, one cruise missile, 64 vehicles and tankers, and nine special equipment during the hostilities over the past day. Moreover, over the past day, 104 combat engagements took place at the front line as Russia launched seven missiles and 108 airstrikes, more than 120 attacks from multiple launch rocket systems at the positions of Ukrainian troops and various settlements, according to the General Staff report. Overall, Ukrainian troops have destroyed 7,449 Russian tanks, 14,353 armored combat vehicles, 12,442 artillery systems, 1,064 MLRS, 769 air defense systems, 342 aircraft and 325 helicopters, 9,868 operational and tactical UAVs, 2,193 cruise missiles, 26 ships stroke boats, one submarine, 16,755 vehicles and tankers, and 2,040 pieces of special equipment since the start of the war. Ukraine has recently intensified defense in the northern Kharkiv region as Russia sought to open a front in that area. On Friday, Ukraine revealed that all Russian attacks on Kharkiv were repelled and there have been no losses of territory. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said his country's forces had been ready for the attack on Kharkiv.